One of these icicles is different. It's the green one. You probably guessed that. It's not just the fact it's green colour though. This is a version I've designed myself and it also uses a PIC-12 microcontroller and it also uses tri-state multiplexing. However, there's a difference. This one has, and let me just uh, remind myself, this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 12 LEDs versus the 18 in that. And the reason I've used 12 LEDs is because I've only used four lines in the PIC microcontroller because I kept one spare. Um, one of them is, I could have actually used the, um, the reset button as an input, the reset line as an input, but I wanted to keep the circuitry as minimalist as possible. And it also makes wiring them very easy when it's uh, just 12. However, I've kept one line input spare because my icicle has options. It's also got a randomizer. You're probably not really seeing this because there's not a lot of them next to each other, but uh, it's actually skewing the speed slightly every time it drips just to actually give a different effect. So the drip speed's very slightly different and also um, the delay between them is slightly different. So if I press this button, it now pauses at the top and then drips. And if I press it again, it drips and it pauses at the bottom. The reason when I press the button the bottom LED shimmers, it's just a wee diagnostic thing to show that it's acknowledged the button input and it's stored it to memory. Uh, next uh, button press, it drips and shimmers briefly at the bottom. Next button press, It just chases dots down it. I'm trying to remember what programs put in here. Next button, next press. It's now chasing sort of blobs of light down it. Press it again. It's chasing a big long drip down it. And next press should be filling and emptying. So it basically it fills up and then empties. Next press, because this is a lot of programs I put in this software, It's just random blips. And it is a genuine randomizer. It's an 8 million bit randomizer and the speed is being skewed slightly. So that's going to give endless. If you had loads of these icicles next to each other, every single one of them would be different. They'd be doing their own thing. Next button press. Is multiple drips. Again, a randomizer. Just Mix, you know, every time it's about to drip it, it picks how many drips there are going to be. Not sure I'm so keen on that effect. Next option, random data just being chased down the icicle, which is nice. And again, that's just an endless stream of random data. Next one is uh, one LED lit at a time very brightly and it's just jittering about randomly inside. It's just because I could do it. And the next effect, again, is the same thing, but with just very sharp strobe pulse of the break between, just to give it a very sort of strobing effect. Maybe a wee bit too restless. Now, did I put any more programs in here? Yes, I did. This just displays a random 12 bits of data in steps for no good reason at all. But I could, so I did it. And then back to the first effect. Uh, this is another uh, function. If I turn this off and then on again, you'll see it does an automatic self-test. Each LED will step down once in turn, just so you can diagnose any faults. And if I turn the light on now, yes, it's going to swamp with light, you'll see that, uh, although I've just shoved this into the plastic tube that matches the rest of these, the original was in a bit of heat shrink, and uh, it's actually got four copper wires, and these are just ordinary LEDs inside the heat shrink. And at the moment, the four wires come out to the microcontroller, and really, it's just a resistor, the microcontroller, and a button tacked across the front of the microcontroller. Um, it is, uh, at the moment, it's plugged into a socket, just so I could swap it into the programmer and take it back out again. And that's blobbed with hot melt glue just to keep everything solid. But, um, yes... That's uh, my version. Maybe I'll put this software up online, actually, because that would be quite an amusing project. 
Yeah, maybe I'll do that one day. Oh, here's another thing. Uh, while I was messing about these, I have to remind everybody that uh, this one uses a little power supply that looks like this, and it's a switch mode inside. Not all of them are like that. Uh, some of them have a capacitive dropper inside the same package, and this means that all these solder connections, if you pulled it out, would be live at mains voltage. So the point at which I was holding this and I went up to turn the light on would be a very nasty surprise because I brushed against the light's metalwork, and if that had been the capacitive dropper version, that would have been very unpleasant. So uh, that's worth noting that some of the, these sets of lights from China have very, very dubious power supplies. But mine, on the other hand, doesn't. The, oh, this is uh, designed to run from a USB power supply, just a 5 volt supply. And you can run hundreds, really. Uh, you know, this the current, you can set it with that resistor. So you could say, I want it to be brighter, I want it to be dimmer, um, I'd, be, I'd be able to more run more. And all you do is just run loads and loads in parallel from a standard USB 5 volt power supply. So I, I think I will put that up as a project one day, and I'll cover how to make them. Although you can't compete with the Chinese product, but at least with this one, you've got loads of variety and something different.